Solving an inequality which contains a radical, as you see before you, involves three steps. Step one is to check whether the index is even, which it is in this case being a two, then you must find non-negative values for the radicand. In this case, that means 3x minus 6 must be greater than or equal to 0. Our result then is finding that x must be greater than or equal to 2. We now continue on to step 2. Step 2 says to solve the entire inequality algebraically. First, isolating the radical by subtracting 4 from each side results in an isolated square root of 3x minus 6 must be less than or equal to a positive 3. To inverse a square root, we recall that we need to square. Applying a square to each side gives us the following result. Adding 6 to each side and continuing with our algebra, we find that x must be less than or equal to 5. Now we place this in combination with our earlier finding that x has to be greater than or equal to 2, and we believe that our answer should be between the values of 2 and 5. However, our, our third step then is to test the values to make sure that is in fact true. Notice this involves three inequalities substituting some selected value from each of the areas defined by the, the, the border point 2 and 5. In the first case, we will take a number less than 2, 0 is convenient, and evaluate that, replacing the x. In our first case, substituting a 0, the resulting imaginary leads us to a conclusion of false. In the second case, uh, substituting the 6 from greater than 5, we uh, have a square root of 12, which we know must be larger than the square root of 9, that is 3, and so something larger than 3 added to 4 will certainly not be smaller than 7. Again, our finding is false. That leaves us with one final situation to evaluate, and let us try for that, substituting the 3 between the 2 and the 5, we find, and uh, that, will that be less than or equal to 7? Again, estimating, we know that the square root of 3 would be smaller than, less than the square root of 4, which is 2, and that, even that 2 plus 4, would be less than 7. Therefore, we do confirm that this finding, the interval between 2 and 5, results in a true. It is therefore the solution to our inequality.